What's going on, guys? It's me, Castle Perfect again, and I am coming at you with a very specific video about the latest update regarding Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Indigo Disc Part 2 DLC expansion. Nintendo just dropped the latest update in the format of a video showing a bunch of things that we can actually do in this new DLC, which I am very stoked about. And um, before I jumped into it, because we're about to watch it together, I was just, you know, scrolling down on Serebii.net, which, by the way, is my favorite website for all Pokemon-related stuff. So when I was reading through it, I refreshed the page, and then I saw that this was released, so that hence why I'm making this video right now, because it's super interesting. Uh, but I read a couple of things that I would like to, you know, take a little bit of time at the end of the video to talk about, because this is an absolute game-changing feature that i'm pretty sure most of us are going to absolutely love it now without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the video and see what nintendo has in store for us in this new dlc expansion all right Let's get it, boys! Alright, so we're going into area zero all the way to the bottom. Basically, the time machine that's in there. What is this? Oh, look at this. Terrestrialized tree. Ah, oh, this is great, dude. This is great. So, the teal mask, we already played that. So, this is nothing new. We, all, we already went through all this. And uh, here we got Serrano. And here is the new stuff. All right. So the Indigo Disc Part 2. We see a Tautodile. Uh -huh. Great. So this new area is split in like four different areas with a completely different uh, atmosphere, right? It's crazy. Nice, nice, nice. Nothing. Oh, here's the thing. That's one of the things that I was really thinking about. You can now, from the, the view of your Pokemon, you can actually see the world. I'm not sure if you can actually control your Pokemon. I suppose you can. Uh, but that will change the entire experience of how we've been able to play Pokemon up until this day all right so we've seen some trading going on some battle coliseum or is that a gym i'm not sure uh -huh. oh whoa, whoa 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 we got the regular sweet moltres raikwaza okay here we go all the legendary dogs legendary birds latios and ladias these horses from pokemon sword and shield that i never played and then Groudon, Kyogre, we've got Kyurem and Reshiram, we've got, oh my goodness, Sekrom also. Oh, we got a flying quest and a bunch of new gym leaders, apparently. Drayton. Ah, uh, this is cool, man. This is cool. And that's uh, that's a new evolution of a Pokemon that... Um, also was part of the Pokemon Sword and Shield that I never played. Again, I'm, so I'm not really sure what to say about that. Never really played it, so there's not much that I can say about it. Regardless, we've got all the starters, of course, um, ever since the entry of Pokemon Home. I think most of them were already released, if not all of them. Haven't been, uh, haven't put my hands on uh, Pokemon Home. And there is the new, by the way. <laughs> Raiko, the giraffe Raiko, and this is also another feature that I'm super stoked about. The fact that you can permanently fly, ladies and gentlemen. We can permanently fly now. Okay, and we've got the new Pokemon. Uh, oh, there it is, man. Mr. Turtle has like a multitude of different types. It's crazy. All right, so I'm going to pause the video here because at the end of like the releases... Uh, update videos that they have released before uh, they show new stuff that we can get immediately right after this update so information all right what's this pokemon scarlet plus the hidden treasure of area zero bundle all right so you can actually buy a bundle that's interesting 
but I don't we don't have to do that. We already have everything that it Oh Challenge Dialga and Palkia and add Darkrai to your team. Face Dialga and Palkia in terror raid battles. Receive Darkrai via Mystery Gift. We're gonna do that right after this video. Um, event period until Thursday, December 21st, 2023 at 23 or basically 11.59 UTC time. Good. All right, maybe, look, just, maybe just a quick live stream would be epic to do. I receive a shiny Lucario and claim the monster, claim a monster ball. So we get, so wait, 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 we're getting a dark, right? We're getting a shiny Lucario in a monster ball and it is available until Wednesday, January 3rd. So that means, I suppose from right now, right? That's cool. What else? The Indigo Disc release celebration. Get fest, get festive with mass outbreaks of Pokemon. So, Pokemon encountering these special mass outbreaks are more likely to be shiny. Oh, that's awesome. Event period until Thursday, December 21st, 2023. At, of course, again, 11.59 UTC time. So, we've got the Blueberry Academy. We've got Kitakami and Impaldia in all three regions. We've got uh, outbreaks going on, apparently. Great. La Bebe. The other guys. Players who purchase the DLC can get a new uniform set. Great, thank you very much. And what else? Connect to Pokemon Home. Bring over even more Pokemon. More of your favorite Pokemon. Great. I should definitely invest some time in Pokemon Home. And that's it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's awesome. Great, 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 great. Now, before I finish off the video, I would like to switch screens back to full screen right here, right now. Joe, look. I am not kidding you. This is going to change the game forever. You need to understand that there are a couple of things that are new to this DLC that are, we haven't seen before. One of those things is the Synchro Machine or the Synchro Machine, which uh, allows the user or therefore us, the trainers, to view the world from the perspective of the Pokemon itself. Therefore, I'm not sure if we can control the Pokemon, which I think we can, which means we can actually battle other Pokemon while controlling the our Pokemon ourselves instead of like actually telling them what to do. So we are actually doing what it is that we want the Pokemon to do. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's one of the things that I've always wanted. And we've got a, another point here that I would like to stress. And um, so, you know, at some point in the DLC, we will be able to permanently fly, ladies and gentlemen. We got it. I don't know what your experience is with the game with the gliding stuff with Miradon and Karadon, but I always thought that was like not that cool. I was always wondering like where, what, what, why, why did Nintendo actually took out the flying mechanism um, in, in a game like this? It should be in the game, right? To be able to permanently fly from one side of the map to the other side of the map without any interruption, right? It is going to be available now that function is now will be available the december 14th at some point in the dlc of course but it is coming it's amazing so point number three that i would like to stress out as well is uh you will be able to encounter a bunch of legendary pokemon dude and you can do that by completing the blueberry quests uh by earning snacks apparently and uh so there is a lot of freaking content in this dlc that uh kind of makes me very exciting to play the game again and uh so um there are a couple of things that uh, i think i'm gonna be doing right after i upload this video one i'm going to get this mr gibbs that you can actually get a lucario which is shiny caught with a monster ball amazing and then you also have a dark right that you get from mr gift and now you can even fight the alga and pokia in seven star raids the strategies are going to be coming soon. So thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon. And I hope you guys cannot wait as well. I'll see you online.